And one of the new games said, you can wait a little bit. <laughs> Somebody already got automated. <laughs> Dude, Mac. In the offline chat. Jesus Christ. Okay, welcome in, Mac. <laughs> like it, that way everybody knows we're here. Also, I just realized I lost my cue cards. <laughs> I cleaned my room. I have no clue where I put them. That's gonna freak out live on stream. <laughs> Give me like a minute more to look for them. I think I'm brain dead because I have wherever it would be, it's not there. Give me another 30 seconds. <laughs> TV. <laughs> Hello everybody! I'm live! 
Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, it's Tuesday. I actually went live on a Tuesday. <laughs> it's been like two weeks. But you know what? I'm back. We had Mac in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you for hanging out today. I appreciate it. Thank you for chatting. Um, let us say, the plan for today is simple. Oh my god, hi Mint, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Today I have a sparkling water. I'm only drinking it because it was in the fridge for like three months and nobody touched it, so. Because I get anxious when food doesn't get eaten. Hi, Go Bobo, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Yeah, I'm not too big a fan of sparkling water either, but this one, I let it sit for a little bit. That way it's not too bubbly, so it's a bit more tolerable. Also, I think our AC might be busted because this unit, really good at heating up the place. Like during winter, very good. But during summer, <laughs> she's struggling. We have the AC set to 50, but it's at a nice toasty 70. And if you guys don't understand if you don't live in Washington, but it's usually pretty tame most of the year, but during june to september the worst fucking time of your life it gets to like 90 to 100 which i know is normal for some people but here in washington we ain't used to that shit so we might need to have somebody look at our ac you can see look how sweaty i am oh my god because i usually have like the window open but i can't have the window open because it's gonna fuck up the ac more i do i think we need to break the fans out soon but yeah, today we're gonna do some good old Mario Kart. You know, I do have my cards done. Is the filter cleaned? I'm gonna have to ask about it. Because since we're renting out rooms, it's not our responsibility to do like anything, like maintenance wise. So we just have to probably reach out and ask. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I have to do errands tomorrow. But today also, the start of a new era. We stopped playing Animal Crossing almost two months now, so I have found a game to replace it. So after Mario Kart today, we will be starting a new game, so stick, stay tuned, everybody. And I know that everybody is playing the new Zelda. I will not, because my sister... Wait. My sister bought the game, right? She has the game. But she is not gonna let me fucking play it. That little shit. <laughs> oh no, she bought it, so you know, it's her money. It's her money, I don't care. It doesn't matter. So, she told me- Cause she's very, like, possessive. <laughs> which is fine. It's technically, like, the Switch I use for stream is her Switch, so... Whatever. It's fine. So she said, once she beats Tears of the Kingdom, then I can play it. It's because she doesn't like switching the cartridges back and forth between consoles, which I can kind of get, but it's whatever. So whenever she beats it, maybe I could play it. But I've also watched like, over the weekend, I've watched like maybe a total of like 10 hours of gameplay, like just passively. So I already kind of know like the basics of the game. So I kind of don't want to play it, but to make up for it, maybe we'll start this this week instead. It's unopened. Wait, is it new? I bought this used, but it's resealed. What the fuck? Why is it resealed? I just realized it's like, it still has the ceram wrap on it. So we'll be starting this probably. It's also because I can't afford to buy a new story game right now. T. But that, that's because, uh... My stream revenue from April is gonna co go towards the... I had to buy like $80 worth of canvases, so... Ooh! That was like half of my revenue. Which is fine. So we'll probably start this this week. For the Zelda frogs. Anything else I need to address? I don't think so. Hi Kim, welcome in! Yeah, I did see that promo for Tears of the Kingdom, but my sister already bought it, so. 
I'm good. Let's play some fucking Mario Kart, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Before I get started, though, before I get started, what is this? Huh? Is this Ethan Art dot my Shopify? Ain't no way. Everybody, exclamation shop in chat. Click the link. All you gotta do is click. Don't buy shit. Just click the link. And you, you can get $10 off your purchase today with code TWITCH10, everybody. Yes, guys. Buy a painting. It is worth it. <laughs> Currently, we have one sale. Shout out to Mac. And then Crystal got their free painting. So next drop will be probably mid to late June, everybody. Anything else? I think I'm good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm like getting back into it because the last time we streamed was Friday. Oh, yeah, we beat a space for the unbound last week I think it was a total of four streams. So you can go back and watch the bots to watch the whole game in its entirety Okay, I gotta get comfy now. I do also have Three whole cue cards everybody loads of content today <laughs> Also, don't be afraid to ask me shit too, you know it's 11 11, make a wish. <laughs> okay, last week I was trying to get the three star gold trophies in 200cc for the new DLCs. But I failed. Or I succeeded in getting the fruit cup, but I did not get the boomerang cup. So I today will get the three star trophy. In the boomerang cup. Stream ends when I get three stars, everybody. <laughs> Dude, I'm so hot. <laughs> you want to make a bet? What's the bet? I can't beat this today. I bet that you won't. I bet that I will. I got kind of close last week. What? What's the stakes? Oh wait, okay, the first non-sub to type in chat gets a free sub because I couldn't pay for it last week. First non-sub. <laughs> that Taco Bell? That does sound pretty nice. All my points. <laughs> oh, we'll do a prediction after this race, don't worry. Oh my- I haven't played in a week. I do need to sign up for like the Taco Bell Rewards program because I've been going like once, ev not every week, but like every week and a half, you know? But I think it's for every, the way the points are ratioed, every $25 you spend you get like a, something that's worth $5-ish. Which ain't too bad, 5%. Fuck me, oh my god! But I think out of all the Royalty Reward programs, I think 7-Elevens is pretty solid. I think the points to the store credit ratio is pretty good. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> but I can't be throwing already! Oh, this is useless in my position. Anytime I don't get first, because I'm not here to waste you guys' time. Just saying. Is the game audio desync? I forgot to check. Thank you, hacker. Resetting. It could also be, I had to move the Switch downstairs, because I had a friend over this weekend, so we played games. Okay, let's see now.
He is detecting my switch. Thank you for telling me. Anytime you guys notice tech shit, just tell me. It doesn't annoy me at all. It's reconnecting. Pause jam. Okay, how's it now? Are we good? Are we Gucci? It's still not synced? Hi Robin, welcome in. Welcome in. Is it really still not synced? Wait, let me see. Monka W. Okay. It's like the slightest delay. Let's see. Oh, it is slight. It's still. Oh. Uh oh. We're going to try one more time. I was about to gaslight myself. Ah, it could be. Because uh, hmm. I had to unplug everything from the capture cards earlier. Thank you for Damien Robin. I'll do that in a second. He is detecting my switch. That's why, like, if I could, looking back, I would have just bought a PC. Because if you stream from a PC, you can just mirror your game footage and, like, gameplay straight to computer instead of using a TV. Oh, no. But I kind of like playing for the TV. It feels more homey. Okay. How is this? Okay, I'm gonna open the game. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not like fully synced, but it's it's like a normal desync. It could be maybe I have the frame rate fucked. Let's see, let's see. Let me check one more time. Right, it, it's it's as good as it's gonna get. I might. I think the only way to fix it is like if I had to reset everything. Let's see. Thank you all for being patient and waiting. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I just checked the OBS and it says to restart the application. But you know what? It's good for now. It's good for now. <laughs> Let's play the game. <laughs> it's only like a fraction. Like one one hundredth of a second. 
Thank you guys for waiting. I really do appreciate it. But you know what? Can't wait. Peace and art on my Shopify.com. Everybody, click the link, exclamation shop in chat. Check out my original artwork. It everything is hand painted, made by yours truly. Go check it out. Exclamation shop in chat. Can we get to a million clicks? Okay, I'm gonna beat it this time. Oh wait, I said I was gonna do a prediction, huh? Okay, let's see, prediction. Three star gold trophy. Buy, let's see. It's 11.20. Let's do buy noon. Because <laughs> I'll do third. I'll grind this for 30 minutes. What is sub gold? 95 today. Everybody go gamba, go gamba. Do you think I will get a three star gold trophy at 200 CC for boomerang cup by noon? It's 11.21 for me right now. Wait, so what are the stakes? If I don't get it, I have to get Taco Bell? Then I would just throw on purpose like I did just there. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, if I don't get it, <laughs> I end stream. <laughs> and then if I do get it, I end stream. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Imagine if you get it on this attempt. Man, Lakitu drives crazy. He's so light. I think the best strat has become whenever you have an item in, in your inventory, to hold it in your hand rather than hold it behind you. Because the issue I've been noticing is if I hold like my banana or shell behind me for protection the whole time, then I'm more likely to have somebody like ram into me from behind. It sounds sus, but you know, that's how it be sometimes. Although it does not protect me if an item comes from the front. Okay, I'm gonna throw the red. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh no. You guys, I have 30 minutes. I can do it in 30 minutes. I went from like third to six and then second. Aren't you gonna win? No, no, I. Because there was one more person who had already crossed the finish line. So I had the three shells, I hit two people. I'm changing, I'm changing. In pink. I got up to get a cosmic brownie. How specific? <laughs> Oh, ideal meal. Surely. <laughs> I'll beat it this time. Did I change the title? <laughs> Stream ends when I beat the hardest free in Mario Kart. Mods. Actually, I want to change up. I, I think I want to make that the title. <laughs> okay, let's see. The stream ends when I beat the hardest free There we go. Mods have changed the titles. <laughs> I mean, it's not entirely wrong. Dude, can I just end it here? The race, not anything else, mind you. You know, I used to say that wave 4 was the best wave, but after playing this pre over and over again, I started to hate it. 
Get away from me! Did I do story times now? <laughs> As I'm trying to try hard. You know how people will say in terms of relationship advice, if you can um, fart in front of your partner, then that means you're very close and comfortable with each other? Now, I agree with that sentiment because I honestly don't care. Nothing really grosses me out. I'll be honest, okay? But the first time I ever farted in front of a partner, it was like a month and a half in, and we were like randomly walking around the downtown area at like 9 p.m. on a weekday, you know, hanging out and chilling. And they told a really funny joke, and the whole time, the whole time, I was holding one back, okay? And then they made a really funny joke, and <laughs> I farted so fucking loud, it was horrible! <laughs> Thankfully... <laughs> They were grossed out, because they were just laughing their eyes off. <laughs> so, later on in the relationship, anytime they would fart in front of me, they're like, Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, dude, I farted in front of you during month one. Did it smell, though? No, obviously, we fart, but it does not smell. It smells like roses. Yeah. <laughs> I tell that story all the time to my friends, and they tease me about it every time. And it's so funny. It's so good. Guys, one race down. I feel like I would block someone if they smell. Okay, let's be honest. Everybody's fart smell, okay? Can't do shit about it. I mean, maybe I just change your diet. Don't have asparagus. <laughs> The circuit is cute, so cute. I know! The color scheme is lovely. I also like how everything is like slightly... It's simultaneously dull, but also really saturated. The textures of like the backgrounds make it look fuzzy. I love asparagus. I know, but it's not gonna... <laughs> okay, how about you don't have asparagus on the first date, okay? Don't invite a grill over. Don't make her a steak with asparagus, you know? It's not gonna be an easy cleanup. <laughs> Don't eat onions 24 hours before meeting someone? Well then... I guess Shrek is fucked then, right? Nah, whenever I go out, I usually have like a tin of Altoids. I mean, I usually wear my mask anyway. So it's not like people would be up close and personal, but if I ever had the chance... To go out, you know, me to grill. You know, Alphonse are gonna be your best friend. Dude, I have a massive lead right now. No way! I lose! That was not on purpose, I swear to god. Michelle. That was kinda lucky. If she's interested in me, she's gonna have to take me as I am. True. Girl boss. <laughs> no, no, Mac, that is so real. I hate that... Wait, I hate that, like, why would you change certain habits to impress them when you're gonna... What are you gonna do if you guys date? Keep up the act? I agree with that fully. I don't think you should, like, be fully... I guess, your weird and unique self, like, don't be, like, too weird, right? Because there's, like, levels to it. There's, like, quirky and then, like, inappropriate weird, you know? So I think it's fine to, like, I guess, not overshare, I think is the best way to say it. And, like, I still think if you're pursuing someone, they should like you as you are. But don't be, like, a fake-ass bitch. Like, don't pretend that you have money when you don't. Don't pretend to be, like, overly nice if you aren't, you know. It's fine if you're, like, a bit catty or whatever, but, you know, learn to hold back when appropriate. Oh, yeah, if I'm, like, doing a hobby or a food, I'd be like, I don't like that shit. I'm not gonna do that to impress you. You know, I ain't gonna waste my time or my money. 
Okay, this is the one free that holds me back every single time. I'm not doing too bad so far, though. I usually don't trick on that last ramp because it makes me run into the wall every time. See, that was a near flawless first lap. What if my partner doesn't believe in the internet? Honey, if all they do is spend their day in the library and don't touch their phone or their computer, I would say huge red flag. <laughs> the only reason I think that's okay is if you're like Amish, but otherwise if you don't... I can understand not wanting to go on the internet but not believing in it. Kind of weird. I mean, let's be honest, the internet is where like a lot of conspiracy happens and like misinformation, but... No, I bet if they refuse to not use the internet, then they're like, they have like a secret device. You know, they got a burner phone. They got it. I mean, not saying that's what I would do. No, no. I do not have another secret third phone. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> the only device that I don't really use often is my iPad. I only really use it to like read manga. Because the screen's a bit bigger. Damn, I'm actually just imagining the stream out of the potato I'm holding. <laughs> you, know, you know what could be interesting? You know how you can make, like, a light bulb turn on with potatoes? What if you could just, like, insert a screen into a potato and it could power itself? Wait, no, it's lemons! Wait. It's lemons and potatoes, right? Okay, everybody, can we pause for a second? I just got first in, like, one of the hardest tracks in this whole pre, let alone the whole game. <laughs> what if you only have sides, then no main? Then... Um, non-consensual polyamory is really bad. You should stop it. <laughs> hey, look, look. <laughs> I don't <died. laughs> Asking for a friend? People yeah, only chat! Hee <laughs> hee. Oh no, I just realized we were in sub only chat the whole time. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, first non sub to type gets a free sub. I, dude, why did nobody tell me? Shit. God, end me. End me, dude. <laughs> the non subs when you end. <laughs> dude, I was wondering. I was like, I'm sorry. I always forget. It's because I always enable sub only chat when I go offline. Because what can happen is that, like, a hate raid can still happen when you're offline. And then what little shitheads will do is they'll screenshot it and be like, Hey, this person's chat is very bad and evil. Hi, Tanuki! Welcome in! You'll get the gifted sub after this race. Thank you for waiting, honey. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it. I do this shit all the time. I should be cancelled, like, for real this time. Or you know what would be even worse than canceling me? Just me getting second on this race. That would ruin my whole fucking day. <laughs> but let's be honest. Just glancing at my sub count, it'd be very unlucky if you don't have a sub. <laughs> Since the odds are not in your favor. <laughs> Get back to it. I'm not gonna throw. Oh no! Who would have 
thought I could get a three star perfect run in the hardest pre of all of Mario Kart on my second try. You know who didn't believe that? The doubters. That, that took like six minutes, guys. <laughs> I dead ass thought this would take me like an hour. Because it took me like 30 minutes last week. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, Tanuki gets a sub. Because I scam. Yes, everybody, I do have two laptops and two phones. This gifted sub is from last week, because I got first in online. Mine served three times, right? Here, you guys are free, you guys are free. Dude, I've been so out of it today. <laughs> I'm so tired. Dude, why is my MacBook Pro making me log in twice? How come you don't have a pog emote? Okay, Mac, use your brain. Do you think me having a mouth open emote would be good? Yes? Okay, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. You don't think that would be a little bit sus? You don't think it'd be a little bit weird? Not at all. <laughs> what to be weird? <laughs> it's processing. Let's go. Thank you, Peace and Art, for gifting a sub. Holy. But enjoy that gifted sub to Nookie. Thank you for waiting. I did not mean to be in sub with I'm sorry. You guys are so weird. Okay. Let's do a little bit more practice. Yeah, enjoy the emotes, Tanuki. I think I will have time to do a tournament this month. It depends. When is... Actually, when is the last Sunday? Let us say... Oh, okay, so the last Sunday is the 28th, and then the 29th is Memorial Day. Yeah, I'll, I will for sure be able to do another tourney this month. A pog emote does not be weird. We won't use it for anything bad. No, you guys would do peace I2 pog, and then a hot dog emoji. I know you guys. All the little D-gens will come up. No, I'll, I'll do the tournament on Sunday. On Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. To Koopa. Okay, which other ones do I need to practice? I think I'm pretty solid on all these tracks. Okay, I'll, I'll practice these two. Oh, I see, Mac. You know, it was weird because, like, when I had my last, I guess, checkup with my doctor, it was on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so I was surprised they had it open. I mean, like, it's not like it's an American holiday, but... I guess it would make more sense for them to be closed the day after Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so we can't ever have a Pogma? No. No. Maybe at, let's say, um, 2,000 subs. Fuck, I hate this first line. It 
It can't just be me who mixes up bananas for coins, right? That has to be intentional. Dude, two and one! Bogo. Another thing that I've been thinking about recently... Okay, I haven't interacted with any babies. None of my friends are having babies yet, and I don't see relatives often. But something that always kind of bothered me, or that I rather never really understood, is you know how people will like blabber or have like baby talk where they just make silly little noises whenever they talk to a baby? I don't- how is that like helpful? <laughs> it just makes you look like a goddamn idiot. <laughs> it's not cute, it's just silly. And it's not like the baby <laughs> can understand your little gurglings. I can understand that, like, the baby doesn't get when you talk normally, but you just like little, like, you look like a little goof. I talk to my dog like that? Well, stop! Your dog probably thinks that you're <laughs> not all there, you know? Or how about rather, you could do what you want in your own home, just not here. Not in my chat. Chat is my home. The interaction is good for their growth? Like, just babble? <laughs> what? Pull up the studies, roll the tapes. Oh my fucking god. What am I doing? That was an insane snipe, though. That's actually crazy. You gotta interact with them and they don't speak? Epic snipe? Thank you, Tanuki, from the real sweat. Thank you. I actually had some pretty good hits with the greens on that race, actually. Somebody- somebody make a comp. <laughs> you know how they have, like, those FPS <laughs> compilation where they just get headshots? I need, like, a green shell comp. What if you talk to them like mean business? Yeah, we gotta, like... Instead of... Instead of playing your little baby's Beethoven, you just gotta play, like, NPR, the daily <laughs> finance stock news, you know? Yeah, stop! No, see, you have the same bit. See, great minds. Hmm. I usually don't go this way. <laughs> Ooh, dude! Correct! Okay, also, it's easier to time where items will land in with computers than online, I will be honest. If you introduce your baby to loud sounds when you take them home, they get more used to it. What constitutes as loud sounds? Because I can think of several loud sounds that would not be good. Because I immediately think of, like, smashing, right? Smashing. And then, like, screaming. So, is, is screaming good for your child? <laughs> like the regular house sounds? Well, smashing would be a regular house sound then, right? <laughs> I can... The vacuum? Oh yeah, maybe. I do, like, when I do chores, I am very loud. Like. When I do dishes, I kind of- I don't, like, throw shit around, but I kind of, like, don't set the silverware down lightly. <laughs> Smash Bros or normal smashing? <laughs> How about both at the same time? <laughs> oh, I should've held. That was just practice. That was practice. This... This doesn't count. I will not let, so, let this one tarnish my record.
I actually have never held a baby. I've been offered, but I'm too scared to. Because when you hold a baby, you're literally holding a life in your hands. That's way too much pressure. one stream that I've been thinking about doing. Nobody snitch, nobody leak. But you know how when you watch people play a game, myself included, and they don't play it like as good as you would? I want to do a stream where I try to play Mario Kart as horrible as I can. But I just go with the bit and pretend that it's how I actually play. Like you know how when you see clips of people doing ramps and they don't trick or if I don't use the items when I should, which I'm really bad with item usage anyway. But I think that'd be really funny. <laughs> that way everybody watching is just getting more and more annoyed. <clears throat> and it won't be like crazy techniques, right? I know that I'm not a sweat, I'm not a pro, I don't know like any crazy drifts. But like, I intentionally run into walls, I intentionally don't trick. I think that'd be a good bit. Oh, okay, I was looking at your chat. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming ramen, we'll do that at the end of stream. I believe. Yeah, I want to see how many people would like sit and watch. <laughs> I was gonna do that bit for like April Fools, but then I was like, I don't want to... Then it'd be obvious that it's a bit. Oh, so if you try to be, like, very vigilant about being quiet, then it's gonna make the baby accustomed to silence. Hmm. Well, I'm not having a baby anytime soon, so uh, I'll write these notes for later. Like a... Information that I will never use. Smashing while playing Smash, how would that work? You know, you you can multitask. Is what I'll say. <laughs> Not saying that I've tried it. Smile. Don't look at me. This track is hard, okay? It's difficult. I was in 10, and then I fell off the track, and then I was in 8. You already tried it? No, I lied. I don't play Smash Brothers. It's not my game. This Rainbow Road seems like something that'd give me a headache. No, this one is actually pretty fun. I'm trying to think. What is my least- My least favorite track has gotta be... <laughs> you did it with Mark? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck me, oh my I will never leave. Oh wait! Oh I thought it was first. You know what they say, you never make mix work with pleasure, so I would never do it. Ooh, I agree, Neil Bowser is a pretty solid track. But I think my least favorite ones have to be the sand one. It's way too much yellow. I don't like environments where it's just one color. I like big blue, but that's because I like blue. But if there's too much of one color in a track, it kind of 
irks me. I work at a dollar store and that would be mad weird. <laughs> Okay, I'll do one more computer pre to warm up. Did I change the title or should I keep it? <laughs> I think I'll. I don't know. I hate lying. I would never lie. Yeah, I will keep it for now. It's okay. What is y'all's recommended enemies for getting over the final stretch of being sick? Yes, I agree. Lots of water. Lots of water will help. I would have to say, like, don't push yourself either. Like, fully rest if you're sick. Like, don't be doing chores. Don't exercise if you don't really exercise. Just rest. Because when you push your body too much, whenever it's trying to recover, it's going to affect everything else. Yeah, just stay in bed. Also, when you're resting, you have to not stress yourself out about resting. Because I know there's days where, like, if I'm sick or if I'm, like, really tired and I do allow myself to rest, I still kind of guilt myself. I think to myself, oh, I should be doing this or I should be doing that, you know? But you have to mentally allow yourself to rest and not stress about the things you aren't doing. You have to acknowledge that, you know, I'm giving myself this time to get better. I was- <laughs> I saw Robin's message being like, freaking Ludwig, and I thought you meant like, Ludwig the streamer. I was like, what did he do? But you mean like the character in game, right? <laughs> I was like, are you drama farming? New chatter drama farming? Uh oh. Yeah, there is a Ludwig in this race, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you did mean the character? Okay. <laughs> you know, when I play Mario Kart, I don't pay attention to the characters. The only time I really pay attention to other people racing is if I'm playing with, like, actual people. Like, when we do it on stream, ooh. Not saying that I target specific racers, but, you know, if somebody claps me with a green shell three times, I will remember it. the question of what would you do if you could live forever I don't know if I would live forever because I feel like life is meant to be a struggle and I don't know if I want to struggle forever even through the good times but if you live forever you would live through every possible war every possible like global collapse mass casualty event you would see so much struggle along with living through it you'd probably get like every single disease But I think the thing that would bother me the most, if that were ever to happen... Or like, you know like the services where you can like, freeze your brain? I don't think I could ever do that either. Because if the people you care about 
aren't in your life, then it doesn't feel as meaningful. I would do the longest stream ever. Okay, actually, wait. Wait. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a crazy, like, experiment to do? Like, if some somebody was ever blessed with the ability to live forever, they would just, like, on camera the whole time? Honestly, if somebody had that ability, they'd be, like, locked up in, like, a secret underground facility or something. Then you would just get new people. But I like the people I have now. Yeah, I usually do Inside Drift. I get so much shit for it. But I like how the bike goes like almost touching the ground. I think it's cool. I've tried like other bike styles and I can't do it. Even as we are now, we can't get too stuck in the past. That's a really nice way of seeing it, Mint. Like, using the perspective, you know, I would get to experience so many things. That's so cute. What if, like, the person who could live forever became, like, a president? And they were just president forever. Like, literally forever. <laughs> That'd be crazy. But they have terms? Just get rid of the term limits. There's already some presidents, I mean dictators, trying to do that. It'd be crazy if they were a judge because they could sit for life. Oh, wait, actually? Never mind, be a judge. But, like, if you could live forever, would you age? Or would you- could you, like, just choose... ...a state to be in? Because, like, if you're, like, 80 and look as most 80-year-olds do, how would you look as, like... A 10,000 year old. You'd probably just be like a. literally the size of a shriveled raisin. If I live forever, I'd be the war owner. But if you would live forever, you'd probably know like the right things to do. In terms of like building your life the best way you can. So you'd probably be able to live successfully. And you'd have like infinite opportunities to keep trying over and over. Easy! I would have a bunch of children. Guys, it's ad time. <laughs> I I had like a bit, but I do not think of like a good way to say it. Okay, everybody, if you are new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Also, I do have to run ads every hour, so if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. So subscribe if you don't want to see the ads. You can also link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. And hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, I do hope you feel better soon, Mint. Definitely rest today. Don't do anything besides watching the stream. And you, hopefully you'll be better tomorrow, hon. You know what's worse than living forever? Not being subbed. Dude, that would have been a great transition. We gotta get Mint on our writing team. But the writers are striking. Are you rating the cookies we got? Ooh! I've been wanting crumble cookies. Like, I've been craving them, but there's no good flavors.
Uh, make fun of streamer. <laughs> I tried to type in splurge, but it changed- it auto-corrected to surgeon. <laughs> splurge. I'd want to be a thief? No! Stealing is bad. Wink. Back before 2012, people were scared about the computers and technology stopping, stopping to work, right? And all those endless, quote-unquote, all those endless, quote-unquote, life sim games, what if you live forever and there actually is a secret 10,000 year end game? Genuinely, all those quote-unquote endless life sims, I don't think... I'm just like perplexed and like, how can it really go on forever? Like, is it in the code? Do they have input infinite days and months? I don't know. Do you play Fall Guys? I did last year. Fall Guys in a while because I kind of fell off. <laughs> um, because... I had I got a good handful of crowns for like my first two months that I played, but that's because it's ranked lobbies. So I was playing with like other clubs like me. But now that I'm like middle skill rank, like I'm not cracked, but I'm not like a noob. It's hard for me to get past like the second to last level, and I, I get really frustrated playing sometimes. Because I don't like doing things that feel like I'm wasting my time, and if I don't get close to even winning, then I get I'm like this is stupid, this is dumb. Why? Do you play Minecraft? Do you play The Sims? I do not play Minecraft. I'm not 12 years old. I'll not be able to stream anyway. Can I play The Sims? No. You'd love to watch you play The Sims though? Mm. Maybe I'll add it to the list. The only thing I don't like about The Sims is that it feels like you're not like playing a game. I think it's because a lot of like the base building, city building, or life sim games aren't traditional games in the sense of like you have to have like very precise button inputs or combat based it's a lot of setting up things and then watching how things play out oh my fucking god so i think that's why sims especially isn't my type of game because it's i think the fun part about playing sims is making characters of like your friends or like your crush and like watching to see if they like smash right it's it's seeing- you're literally playing God in The Sims. And it's just not my type of deal. Yeah, I did play a little bit of Cooking Mama. I want another Pokemon Snap stream. You're lying. You are literally lying. <laughs> you're lying. Kim, I actually do have a- Yeah, thank you, Mac. Thank you, Max. Shout out to Max for linking. Um, I have an edited highlight video of the Cooking Mama stream, and then also on my VOD channel. You can watch back the whole stream. How long ago was it? Like six months ago. I think I played it in like like fall. It was before I moved. You play Pokemon Snap again? <laughs> Why? I do want to see if there's like an end game to Pokemon Snap. 
Oh wait, I'll, I'll do online for a little bit. Can we have a sneak peek at the list? Um... Hmm... A million gifted subs and I'll leak my whole game... List. All my digital downloads, all my physical games, right now. When will you play Roblox? Never! I'm never playing Roblox. Mm-mm. Let's do Daisy. I never play as Daisy. Roblox is for literal babies. And I'm not a baby. Who says? How about you play Roblox, Mac? <laughs> when you actually click Blue Alive. Roblox. I have two devices. <laughs> Wait, am I gonna be main monitor stream or, you know, on your phone? I wanna be the main bitch. <laughs> okay, now this is the real... Real deal. If I get first, chat gets another gifted sub today. Oh wait. Um, predictions after this race. that I'm still very small. It's not often that I get a stream sniper. And that's another reason why I don't put TTV in my username. Like, I don't want people looking up my game as I'm playing. Or like, possibly coming into the chat and being like, a little shithead. Because I used to mod for a few smaller channels, and whenever they would do like, multiplayer online, that sometimes would happen. And it's just like, weird. Yeah, I know some people are able to make, like, alt accounts for stream. Which I do have an alt account on Nintendo, but I don't use it anymore. It's just, like, my, I guess, offline account. But it doesn't have online. Okay, I'm holding this behind me, just to be safe. Good. Getting... Tracked? First? Ain't no way. And I have a banana too, so if I get one shell, I have another item. I'm back at first. <laughs> and I have a red shell. Very nice. First online race of the day. Okay, everybody is very similarly ranked. There's only one person who has a thousand points. So that's probably like an alt. Damn, that one was pretty clean. I only, like, messed up one line. And I didn't go for the skip because I think that was a 150cc. Yeah. Um, okay, next, non-sub to type in chat gets a gifted today. Damn! Dude, so look at me in that crown, baby! Can I get it? No, Mac, you're a sub. You're one of my longest subs. Can I get it? No, Mint, you're also a sub.
I feel bad now because we probably had some like non subs lurking earlier. I feel horrible. It's because I was testing out the new game before I started stream, like right before. So I, I, I literally almost forgot to change my title too. <laughs> I think they should just be normal subs, so it won't be an issue. I agree, but not everybody is has money. I'm a Ronki too. On Twitch, I'm only subscribed to one person. I would sub to more, God, but it's not in my budget. I hate this beginning section. It's so horrible. The bolts are surprisingly hard to dodge. You can't trick off those? Oh, that's scam. Scam. Girl Scout cookies? No, you don't. I think Girl Scout cookies are some of the biggest scam in this whole economy. It's overpriced cookies. Food in general is super easy to produce. And I believe that the cookies they sell actually go towards their troops. I mean, like, it's probably just like an extra bonus in funding. And I remember watching like this Vice-esque video and it was talking about how some of the cookies use palm oil and palm oil is like one of the more unethical ingredients to buy. Like the argument of like ethical consumption to me there's no such thing as ethical consumption unless you actually have oh somebody dc'd oh they're fine okay unless you have like more options to choose from and that's why like when anytime anybody brings up the ethical consumption argument they're like oh well you have an iphone but then it's like there's not many there's no ethical way that like those type of products are made. So if you have an option, like if you can afford to, like if you can buy like, oh, there's different like kinds of like poultry you can buy. There's cage free, open range. I don't, I think there's one more. Anyway, my point is, if you can afford to buy more ethical options or more human options, do so if you can afford to. It's just the way that the current economy is, and just like manufacturing in general, um, things will be more accessible if they're cheaper to be made. Just own chickens like I do? Thank you, Chad. <laughs> My mom always wanted to get chickens, but they just produced too many eggs. Because one of my old neighbors, she had a family of, I think, five. And they went through a good amount of their eggs that they had every day. Because they only had, like, four chickens. But they still could not use nearly all of them. You guys have 20 baby chicks? Oh my god! It sounds adorable. I remember there was one feed shop in a- It was the town next to my childhood town. 
And every year, like during springtime, right before Easter, they'd have a whole bunch of chicks and then bunnies. And we would never buy anything for the feast, but we would just go to look. We would also go to like Petco as like a little treat if we were done the errands for the day. And my mom would take us there to like look at the bunnies or the birds. It kind of felt like going to like a mini zoo. You're not gonna lie, the mirror version of this track is kind of trippy. I know it's the same line, but it feels weird still. You know what you should do? Is you should make knock-off Starbucks egg bites with all those extra eggs. And just sell them on the corner. So coffee. So, you know, pretty drinks. Then I think you're set. Somebody with a banana, easy. Bullet Bill could save me. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever want like an outside pet. Because I would be too scared that they would get like harmed or eaten. I would definitely want an inside pet. I still really want a cat though. That is the dream. One day. One day it'll happen. No, I'm not allowed to have one. We're not allowed to have any pets. Sad. like barbed wire or electric fences around properties how about instead of doing that what if you somehow like configure and rig like a floating farmhouse like a gazebo but just for your farm animal <laughs> you can make like you can make them a tree house Another mirror mode. I'm rusty. I do like the idea of having like land and not building like a full farmstead or homestead, but like just having like 
enough to provide for myself. But I also know that it's a lot of work. And it's also kind of a big commitment too. I feel like that's the type of lifestyle you should live if you're like older or near retirement. When you have the time to do so. I think when I'm still young, I always want to live in like a suburb or a city area. I like being around people. Even if I'm very like introverted, I still like knowing that people are around. I'll go this way. Dude, I thought I caught up. I'm still in 11th. Oh my god. Holy. Maybe I need to reset. Get out of this queue, enter a new one. Yeah, there's a house down the street from me. They're on like the road, but they have this huge patch of grass. Like a patch of grass that could fit like two, three homes in it, if they really wanted to. But they just, they have three rabbits and they let them free roam. And I always see them just nibbling at the dandelions, eating the grass all day. And it's really cute. I think the closest one got to me was like, maybe three feet away. I always hear the term acre, but I have no idea how big an acre is. Because, like, it's hard for me to visualize space and distance. Like, I can easily memorize where streets are and streets' names are. Or if I drive or take the bus, I can easily remember what road I'm on. But I don't know how to gauge distance. A little less than a football field for an acre. Okay. Yeah, then that guy has like almost two acres. Or no, one acre, one acre. Oh my god, I'm in first! Easy! When I was younger... <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I was younger, <laughs> I can't just. I'm trying my damn. Oh my god, look at Baby Bowser in the very back. He's struggling. Okay, at least I'm not as bad as he is. Holy. Unfair. Okay. Let me start the story time now. <laughs> when I was younger, I never had, like, a celebrity crush. I never liked the boy bands. I was never that type of kid. But when I started using Tumblr, all the time I would see supernatural gifts. And seeing, like, the, the Dean, the Jensen Aka ones, oh my god. I became a fan of Supernatural before I started watching it. Just from those gifs, holy. Even now, but that was back when I was in like high school, okay? That was high school, not now. But even like five, six later, five, six years later, like just not since Jensen Ackles still looks great. Oh my god. I remember when I was like really into Supernatural, like I would watch all the interviews, all of people's like posts on Tumblr. And I think it brings up the point of that, like, celebrity culture has changed so much in the, like, past 20, 30 years just through the rise of the internet. Because now, 
instead of like reading magazines or watching like late night shows, you can easily just look on YouTube or find articles talking about them or them like telling their opinions. Some celebrities even have YouTube channels. Like they're so much more accessible now and it's kind of like a nice thing for a fan. You know, there's just more content. Yeah, because I remember when I was in junior high, like, One Direction were the shit. Everybody loved One Direction. Oh my god, why baby bar? Why are they doing this to me? Okay, I'm actually gonna try hard now. Another reason why I didn't have many celebrity crushes when I was growing up, it's because I don't necessarily like the people who are like excessively good looking. I just always thought they were like unattainable. I always thought to myself, oh, they would never get with me, you know? Wait, Mac, your gauge? Yeah! <laughs> Mac literally makes a gauge joke every stream. Takes you half a lap, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> MK online turns into chat coming out. No, we'll, we'll do that during uh, Pride Bump, guys. Next month. Dude, that was the last lap. <laughs> Thank you for doing it. For anybody curious, I do have LGBTQ plus tagged. Gosh, how embarrassing. You guys thought I was straight. <laughs> no, I think most of my chatters are queer. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Mac, maybe you're not as queer coded as you thought you were. <laughs> I like this track a lot. I don't think I've ever cheated in a video game. Not just because cheating is a bannable offense, but I've never liked the idea of cheating to win a game, because then it feels like my efforts are futile, you know? I want to actually get decent at something than just paying to win. I do think the only game I might have cheated on is Monopoly. Because my sister, when we were younger, she hated playing Monopoly. Because it requires counting. And she hates counting. But my mom would always tell us to play Monopoly because my sister needed to practice counting money. 
So, whenever we would play Monopoly, I would make her the banker. But because she was not good at counting money, she'd be like, oh, is this $300? And in her hand, she would have like five bills. And I would be like, yeah, that's $300. Yeah, of course. No way that's not 300 even though you have five bills in your hand. So, <laughs> whenever we'd play Monopoly, I'd always have a boatload of money. And of course, whenever she would have to count money for herself, she would ask for my confirmation. And I'd be like, oh no, that's wrong. You gotta put two of those bills back. So if she needed 500, I would make her <laughs> give herself only 200. <laughs> that's so mean. Well, she was five and didn't understand what was going on, okay? It's not like her losing the game would stick with her more than like 10 minutes. She had ADD brain. But yes, that is the only time I will, I've cheated. Not that I will admit to cheating, that's the only time I've actually cheated. <laughs> Granted, my sister will cheat at any game she gets the chance to, okay? She would never, like, code to change... Or, she would never code to cheat at a game. But if it's a board game, she'll try to skirt the rules. I remember playing Eels and Ladders. Ooh! She, what she would do sometimes... <laughs> and she thought she would be slick. If she had to roll a dice in a game... And she got a number she didn't like. She would try her best to distract me. To make me look away. And then try to like flip the dice to the number she liked. <laughs> and of course, I'm not stupid. So I would know she would try to do that. So sometimes I would like fake fall for the trap. And I would like turn away on purpose. And then kind of like give a side eye to see if she's turning the dice. <laughs> You gave her Monopoly trauma? Shut up! She doesn't remember shit! I told this story to her like a month ago, and she's like... That's dumb, but also pretty good. <laughs> she's like, that's a pretty good strat. You know what else is great? Following the channel, because everybody, we are 30 minutes into stream, so if you need her, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and... The ability to type in chat. Can we hit our follower goal today, everybody? Smile. Oh my god, is this 200? Oh, this is 200 CC. Yeah, since Stream Elements is like a third party application, it's not gonna be fully really functioning all the time. But you know what? That's okay. It happens. Okay, I'm going for that fight. Do I want to be cool? Dude, everybody's struggling. Oh yeah, you guys didn't even get a chance to gamble today. Because I got first on my first raise. What even happened there? Imagine. Imagine I get first. <laughs> Game changer? Guys are gonna get first right now. Not bad. the worst time to use the bullet. Wait, actually? Not horrible. Less than longer than I thought.
Okay, why would the guy throw the red shell behind him? That's actually a brain dead move. Oh, that was a really pretty shot at the end. I think I will do two more races, and then we can try the new game out. Gamble? Yeah, we can do a gamble. I'll do two more races. There you go. Have fun spending your money. Do you think I will get first within two races? Go gamble. I've already gotten a first today. <laughs> Ready to lose my 500 points? Are you gonna believe? <laughs> oh, we have one believer! Two believers! I mean, it could happen. Monku W, that guy's name was Death. Ninety K ain't bad. Oh, I actually hate this track. I thought this was a different one. chat again again hey, everybody look at this look at this no you motherfucker okay nobody clipped that please that was clipful Well, now you guys can't say anything and bully me. Now I can spot. I just wanted to like focus for a second. Might have a chance. <laughs> Same thing I was gonna do. One more race, we play for another 20 minutes. 
deal? Not because I want more chances to get first, but because I want to play some more. Not anything else. Now this this will be the last one. My London loop? Maybe. The last chance, last race of the day. Okay. I can do it. I'll get first. Also, I still owe chat another gifted, so if any non-subs type at all today for rest of the stream, you'll get a sub. Unless... <laughs> oh my god, my birch! I never go that way. Is that way faster? It doesn't feel faster. Okay, wait, I've held first for almost a whole lap. Wait. This feels like 100 CC. This is way too slow. Did I do rank? <laughs> I probably <laughs> lowered so much rank today. That was a mistake. It all ends here. I guess I can't have nice things. Solid second. I'm still at 7k. Hmm. Oh my god, hi Titans. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? It's been five minutes. You guys are free. Hi Titans. Can we, can we do one more? One more. I will circuit. We love Link. The new Link is out. One more. One more. <laughs> I was close. Is totally doable. And since I got fourth, I'll be very much in the front. Last one for real. Summer classes are not it. Well, when you do summer classes, hopefully you'll graduate sooner. Right? Or is it like classes you failed and you have to do again? <laughs> Guys, I'm graduating next month. I'm so close. Try 
can I graduate in December? You can do it. Six more months, man. What degree are you gonna have? Like, what level? Like, associates? Bachelors? Okay, I'm trying. Nobody distract me. Something I never noticed playing this game is that dirt gathers on your wheel. I noticed it at the start, you're like, your wheels are clean. But see how there's like a little bit of tan dirt on them now? I literally never noticed that. <laughs> the little things, you know? It does, yeah. Oh no. Oh no! Too bad Nintendo games still look terrible. I agree. They could totally look better, but the only reason why people still buy them is because it's Nintendo. We're all such big fucking simps. I think the games look good enough, but they're so limited by the actual console. That's the problem. Buying Tears of the Kingdom until Switch 2 comes out? Well, that ain't ever happening. So I guess you're never playing Zelda. My god, I'm in four! What even happened? Third? Oh my god, wait! Pause. Fifth. One more. One more. I was close. One more. Big blue. F final one of the day. I will sing a song for sure. We'll do it af after my final race. I'll sing a song. Which this will be the final race. Oh damn, now I gotta find a song to sing. Okay, while, we're, while I'm waiting, I'll find a song. That way I don't stall. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> I would never lie. No, this is actually will be the final race. Now we're gonna start a new game. Who's gonna tell her? <laughs> I would never lie. Average Mario Kart player plays for not every day, but whenever they do open the game. I usually will play for stream, so I'll play for like two to three hours depending on the day. But if I'm playing like offline, I'll play for maybe like 30 minutes. And not that I get angry or frustrated after 30 minutes. Because I do I do play better when I do play offline. But it's still it's kinda like I get like an itch to play Mario Kart. I do like it because it is quick play, like you're not committing 40 minutes to one game, you know what I mean? 
Like, I don't think anybody's sitting playing Mario Kart for more than three hours in one sitting. When that could be like three or four Valorant games. Wait, I'm in third? Not bad. That motherfucker, he saw me! If you play Valorant, you smell funny. I agree. Can vouch. No, I don't play Valorant. Let me cl clarify. It's not me. <laughs> Go. No! Oh, oh my god, oh my god. I threw. Oh, a star. I know I said this was the last one, and I was serious, okay? I was not joking. Chim Chim Beach is... I think out of all the tracks, I have gotten first on Cheap Cheap the most. This, I swear to God, I swear, I'm not crossing my fingers. This is the last one. I got second, I got second, so that means I'm gonna be right at the front. Here she goes. We lost her. No! Oh, last one, last one. <laughs> I promise. I am not crossing my fingers. I promise. I promise. <laughs> oh. This one's not gonna be good. I can guarantee it. It's not- it's not gonna be good. In general, I'm getting, I guess, hit by other players less. Unfortunate! Okay. about my online college is all the courses were fully online because I enrolled in 2017. So the transition for students to go from physical to online was easy because for every single physical class they also had like because the way that the class structure works is the professors they'll have the in-person students and then for every month they'll have three to four classes of online students. So they'll, they'll be teaching like, probably like up to 200 students per month. So it was really easy to transition the curriculum 
and also lectures to fully online. And I was already used to the online class structure before pandemic, so I actually did better <laughs> since more people were online. Did you ever try to risk someone online? No. <laughs> Because I'm so scared of getting catfished. Or someone would think that I'm catfishing them, you know? Damn it, I got 10th. Let's sing a song. Also, look how I feel like I'm browner. My face is definitely a bit pink today. But yesterday it was really red. You know how we said last round? Yes, that was the last round. I wasn't lying. I would never lie. Did I get first? No. Bad. But since I did get first earlier in stream, the first person who's a non-sub will get a gifted sub today. Let us... Okay, so. Everybody. I'm gonna sing a song, and then after the song, we're gonna start a new game. Animal Crossing fell off, we're gonna start Cozy Grow. So that'll be the new game we'll play in tandem with Mario Kart. So yeah, we'll start that after the ad break. And then after I sing a song. Because I know chatters were begging for Animal Crossing. So I, I compromised. Oh, another thing I wanted to, we'll talk about after the break. <laughs> okay, I'm finding a song. I'm gonna do a song I haven't sung in a long time. I'll do the chorus for Dad's Song by Set It Off. Set It Off is a pop punk alternative, but they do have a lot of softer songs occasionally. So everybody, if you could put your favorite animated, your favorite hype emotes in the chat. If you wanna see other singing clips, I do have a playlist on YouTube available. Go check it out. I'm gonna sing it a bit slower than the actual cadence. Dude, I'm so pink! Oh my god. I touched grass this weekend, so I'm a bit brown. Okay. So I'll say I thought I wrote you a song at last. Sorry that this one came out so sad. Every tear I had was shed for the man that gave me a better sense of life and meaning to motivate. There's no shortcuts to success. I'll wait for his guiding hands. My guardian angel until the very end. I'll, I'll try the final bridge. Tears can't run dry when I start to cry When I hear people speak of how you'd be so proud of me And how I hope this song will reach your ears about some of my darkest fears I once was blind but now it's clear Wherever I go I know that you'll be near it's that was fine. I haven't sung in a long ass time, but um, this was written about their father who passed away, obviously, and the main vocalist's father also um wrote music, and it's there's an interview where they do where he talks about like how um because like the background instrumentals in the song have like trumpet in it, and his father used to play trumpet. And it's really sweet. 
if you look up Set It Off, Dad's song, and he talks about more in depth about it. But yeah, there we go. Thank you, Mint, for redeeming. Hope it was good for you. <laughs> okay, I do have to run some ads now because we are two hours in the stream. So, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Also, if we have any non subs, I will give you a sub right fucking now. After the ad, we will be starting a new game. Is that Cozy Grove? Ain't no way. So if you like Animal Crossing, you'll like this game. Also, it does seem to have like more lore and like dialogue. An ad is coming your way. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I'll follow your own true song. Last. I'm sorry that this one came. <laughs> I was like, I need to shut up now. There we go. The music is really soft. I did bump it up a bit more for stream, but it's like playing at almost half volume of every other game. And I was looking at the settings options, and the music is almost at full level anyway. So, it, it's at a proper level for you guys watching, but it's just weird. There we go. So we're gonna start a new save. Have you ever played this game before? No, I have not. This is technically a blind playthrough. I've only seen the previews of this game. I'm changing the category so it don't get cancelled. Also, let me show it here. The reason why I bought this game is because it's actually... Did I not screenshot it? Oh. I guess you're not- okay. Well, the game is on sale. <laughs> um, the normal game is like $14, and then the normal game with the DLC bundle is $20. But the DLC bundle was um, $13. So the DLC bundle was cheaper than the main game. So if you want to buy this game, it's on sale until tomorrow. I screenshotted it, but I guess it doesn't let you screenshot the shop, which kind of makes sense. Yeah, what a steal, honestly. That's why I bought it this morning. Because, <laughs> like, I've been getting a lot of TikToks recommended, like, just showing, like, games. And it was like, oh, this game is on sale this week. And I was like, oh, epic. And the bundle was cheaper than the main game. So I was like, I'm going to buy the DLC. Because apparently the DLC has, like, additional characters, some more dialogue, and a bit more story. So, yeah. Okay. Meg phone streamer for a second. I got an email. This game makes me happy. Have you played it before? Has anybody seen gameplay or played this themselves? I remember we saw this initially in one of the Nintendo Directs a few months back. And it was on my list, but I didn't want to play it for stream because it's it's like it's a base building life sim, so it's like one of the games where it's in real time similar to Animal Crossing. So I didn't want to like start it if I didn't like have a time slot for it. But since Animal Crossing fell off, we're gonna do this for now. I do like how it's a bit more, like, artistic. Another game that I want to try is Don't Starve, I think it is. I remember watching, like, Mark play, Mark play it, like, years ago. 
But I saw some other streamers play it like a month ago and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll try that one day. Email is answered because I had to submit critiques yesterday, and I, I feel bad critiquing people's artwork because this this um this class I'm in, you have to finalize some of your portfolio projects and then submit them for critique every week, and I feel okay. You ever be in an art class and there are some people that want to make things but they aren't they aren't skilled enough to make. The rendering they're picturing is what I will say. And I feel bad critiquing them because you don't want to say like, it's like, ugly, you know? You don't want to say like, oh, that's horrible. But, um, <laughs> you, you just have to be like, okay, well, if you change the form and the shape, I think it will drastically increase the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the look of your design to make it more impactful. <laughs> like, I'll say shit like that to somebody's, like, ugly-ass logo, you know? Can you judge your art? I mean, that would be a... F we can do that on the art channel if we have enough people who want to do that shit. But then I, I feel bad critiquing because it's like, I'm not like I'm an amazing artist either. Like, I think I'm... I think I'm C rank, okay? I'm not a B or an A. I think I'm decent, like I know their terminology, but it's just rendering I have difficulty with. Like I'm the idea guy, okay? I'm the guy who's in the writing room. I should join the writers union. Okay, let's play the game. <laughs> New game. Okay, some resources, like some fruit bearing trees, can only be harvested when they are colored. Very nice. <laughs> okay guys, support the writers strike. Resources regrow over time. If you can't find more fish or etc., come back another time. Imps and animals desire items sometimes. Try throwing them whatever they want. Well, welcome to Spirit Scouts. Before you head on in your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. When a, spirit scout, when a spirit scout comes to age, they start to become more than labels they have lived with. Okay. Let's see, I'm a bit brown right now. Clouded silver eyes. Okay, a spirit scout's eyes are a peculiarly unnatural pale shade they see beyond. Do I see ghosts? I have never in my whole life seen a ghost. I'm lucky. Your eyes are massive. I know, I wish my eyes were bigger. Not gonna lie. Let's say. These teal ones look kind of freaky. I think these blue are really pretty. My natural eyes are like this, but I'm going with blue. Plastic hair. Your mom gave you this haircut. Oh, this is so cute, though. The braids. Holy, I'm a sucker for a grill with braids. Holy. Wait, me when I have to get an undergrip for my brain surgery? Okay. <laughs> I'm going- this one looks more- most like me. Yeah, I agree. The, the textured hairs look really nice. See, I need something in between black and the brown. Because my hair... If you hold it to light... Let's see. See how it's- it's not fully black. It's just a very, very dark brown. Because I don't go outside. <laughs> I like this one. This one's cute. The looking good. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, 
Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You'll need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. That's socialism? <laughs> okay, so since the game is in real time, as you can see, 111 on the 16th, I'm gonna put face cam bottom right. Because I don't know where the menus are gonna be. Okay. Let's explore. And my eyes turn whichever way my... You move with the joystick. My eyes are pointing whichever way I look. Can I grab my shit? No. I hope the game stays cozy. I don't think so. There's bears, they said. I love the aesthetic, the sketch look. It's cute. What if I just do um, take a little dip? <laughs> yes. Mound of dirt. A mound of dissolved or disturbed earth. Dig a bowl with a shovel. Maybe if you had a shovel. Okay. Wow, smart ass. Can I not just use my hands? Oh my god, this base is very small. <laughs> oh, the dialogue. How old are those starter logs? Scout tastes like a century at least. So, where have you brought us this time? Where have you- Oh, I guess the fire's my friend. I'm a pyromaniac. Be frank, some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove, I know the name. I've lifted off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded restless spirits here. Desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place where young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there? Beyond my firelight? What if I say no? Scout, you've been preparing for this overnight for years. Of course you're nervous, that's natural. But there's nothing to be worried about out there. I see, the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. He was very nice. He reassured me when I was worried. That's really cute. Can I talk to him again? Investigate and see what you can find. Yes, sir? Oh, it expanded. Why did it exp- This never used to be here before. It just poof. Charlotte Pine. Oh. Another imaginary camper. I subdued my Lady Grey a little too strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Kenzie Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. It's the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. <laughs> I just ask him, why are you racist? Okay. 
I'm gonna do the first one. That's right. 100% bona fide scout. Is that a problem? A problem? Hmm. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned the fit a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Oh, Lord. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. He's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it in the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Okay, so the mini-map up here is my missions. Got it, boss? I think I'll just keep Cam top right. Yeah, look at- Oh, look at- oh. <laughs> Wait, look about the running animation. I'm just hopping. <laughs> Wait, why is there just a random ass log here? A spirit wood. Something is mysterious about this wood. Give it to Flamey to expand the island. What would you like to do? There's a log for you. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Oh, I would never lie. I'm a bear in a ranger suit. The bear in the ranger suit, I see. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. The presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls in here in need of your help. They can't rest until they can't rest until someone has helped them to come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are and how they died. If enough time is, if enough time has elapsed since they passed away, <laughs> that spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, crafter of useful things. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out here. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. Oh, it disappeared. That's kind of a cute mechanic to unlock more areas. It kind of forces you to explore. Talk to me. They just disappear. The coloring style is so pleasant. What would you like to do? Oh, I was just thinking. This island is very haunted. Glad a spirit scout like yourself showed up. Okay, just keep in mind, whenever I play a game like this where I have to explore, I will always explore as much as I can before I progress the story. <laughs> That's why I just can't- I cannot do open world because I would just be exploring the whole goddamn time. Ooh, who's this guy? Okay, they don't want to talk to me. Jeremy Gruffle. Oh! 
I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accepted. That is very, very, very kind of you. More than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise. I'll make it worth your while. Three branches. Was one? Maybe I have to give them to him first? Still searching. What I need is out there somewhere. Check your quest log for a hint if you're really stuck. Go to Charlotte Pine and get directions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't click on the trees yet. What would you like to do? Get hidden object directions. I can sell you a hint for a hundred old coins. Just tell me which item you want a hint for. Um, no thanks. I'm a brokey. <laughs> hidden items. Okay, so the trees fade away. Oh, is it buried in here? No. I got a I got a duck nest. Very nice. Okay, well, since the f trees fade away as I walk behind them, it's probably behind a tree somewhere. Which makes sense, because branches do come from trees. <laughs> okay. Checking every tree. I see a little branch that the marshmallow's on. I can just steal it, right? This is giving Minecraft. I mean, I've never played Minecraft, so I'd never know. I can't even watch people play Minecraft. It's so much of a mental hurdle. Okay, I cannot find the goddamn branch. I cannot be this stone locked already. Okay, has anybody seen the other sticks? I, I might just be DUM. Or visually impaired. I I either. No? Okay, it's not. Where is it? This does look like it could be a good mobile game. Oh, I see a beach on the- I see a stick on the shore. There is one on the beach. 
Oh, wait. I totally saw one near a skull. So I, so close I can taste it. Okay, there was a little dialogue box. There was a dialogue box up here to the left of the menu thing. And it gave me a hint. I love hints. This one's by... Oh. That was the one by the skull. Fuck! Okay, how do I- how do I open the menu? Okay, quest log is X. Okay, so I got the one by the skull. So he, he only gave me one hint, but it's the one I, I just found. Okay, so it doesn't seem like they're like hidden hidden. I just have to find it. supposed to see this it's the same color as the dog that was a pretty good hiding space I'll admit it he got me good Look at these sticks, what beauties! I threw us to your scoop there and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work, my paws kept slipping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it, darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well... Don't worry, I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log too. Is it a shark game? From what I read, it said it has like 40 hours of main story campaign. So, but then it's also similar to Animal Crossing to where, like, there's daily challenges. And it's a forever game. So it'll take a bit to get through. You see it go cross-eyed when it was digging? <laughs> Digging up them holes, dig. I want to watch the holes movie again. Oh, we got a potato. Yeah, so th this will be the game replacing Animal Crossing for now. Until I get that little Animal Crossing itch. What would you like to do? Here's a log for you. Well done. My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh. Oh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Let's go see for yourself. So shoreline, and then somebody further in the forest. There's nobody there. Oh! Hello, sir. I can't touch him.
Oh, the beach got huge, okay. It's weird that, like, just sections will appear. That is kind of off-putting to me. Watch Aurora be in your town when you come back? No! That would be heart-wrenching. But also a miracle that would never happen. Okay, Captain Bill Weathersnout. In life, I was a bear of the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again. A hundred times over. A natural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. And now, I am transformed. A vast young person, how long have you been standing there? You call me reciting my origins. I'm Captain Bill Weathersnout. Though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Pleased to meet you, Bill Weather. I don't think we've reached a first name basis, young sailor. Captain will do. It is a strange thing to be a Seagull Bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love for fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. Okay, so we can buy a rod from Mr. Kid's shop. Hopefully I'm no longer broke. What would you like to do? Oh, I was just thinking. There's just something so satisfying about building things with your own hands, isn't there? Even if the final product is small, it's filled with all the hard work and care you put into it. That satisfaction is its own reward, don't you think? Isn't this the shop? Why? Oh, okay, it's a different guy. <laughs> what would you like to do? Can, you, can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on this island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day I thought I saw an old book peeking out from the leaves. Okay. There- I have too many missions. Let's find the shop. Oh. Hello, sir. Mr. Kit. Well, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I've, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit Scanchin shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. How can I help you today? I want to buy something. Take a look at all this shiny new stuff. Okay, ocean fishing rod. One time I caught a fish and it was this big. Throw a bobber into water from the fish. $20? Not bad. I can part with this old fishing rod for 20 other coins. How's that sound? Sounds great. Take my money. Yes, sir. I love capitalism. <laughs> Hi, sailor. That'll do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're gonna have to pluck it into the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Dude, he's just a- he's full seagull. He's nowhere near a bear anymore. Yeah, I don't see any fish. Your backpack is alive.
your whole width well, that's weird mashing yeah ugly loach Oh, I can change my speed and my direction. Okay. It's very similar to Animal Crossing fishing. Another loach? The style is very nice, though. Okay, give me- I want a big old fish. I don't want no dingy little loach. They look like little tadpoles. This isn't Zelda Jail. My sister has the game and she's playing it. She won't let me play it until she beat it. But hi, Ethan. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome in. I will be playing Zelda tomorrow. skin here a new badge um a scientist <laughs> you can't watch you can't dude you're bitching about me not playing zelda and you're like actually i can't watch <laughs> typical chatter no, I, I myself have already seen like 10 plus hours of gameplay so if I played it for stream, it wouldn't be like a blind react. Unfortunately. Because I was watching my friend play this weekend and then my sister played a little bit yesterday. Ooh! Ebony squib. Are they good at crafting? Um... I don't know yet. Because, <laughs> like, for, like, the... Like, where you attach objects to each other, right? There was one puzzle where they did the obviously wrong thing, but then it still worked. So I think it's just RNG, honestly. Okay, he's gonna want to fish. You like this kind, sir? I see you've already been testing out your rock. Well, either give me the one you got, or catch me a new one. I'll be waiting. Oh, any fish? Okay. The dialogue. Oh, um, I think I'm. Um, I keep on moving the camera, but I'll just keep it top right. It's gonna keep bugging me. Ah, a fine fin you managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think you and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea, my boat did what? Oh yes. A loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. The sounds a maelstrom of ill fortunes, churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. The young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. 
We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. What are plans you haven't solved in all the ghostly problems in a single evening? Put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight protect project anymore. We're your neighbors. <laughs> well, guess we're stuck here, everybody. Okay, so I guess since there's daily missions, there's probably going to be different main characters on the island. They'll have daily tasks for me. And hopefully one day I'll leave this dreaded island. Oh my... Oh, holy... Okay. What would you like me to do? There's a log for you. Delicious! Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close? Maybe far. Let's go find those logs. What would you like to do? About that, have you tried digging through leaf piles? Check your quest log for a hint. If you're really stuck, come to me and get directions. Okay, I think she said there was a pile of sticks or a pile of dirt by chair. Two mushrooms, two softwood. Okay, what is nice is that I don't have to like manually switch out my tools. And I like that. One less button to press. are colored the same. I think that makes this game searching a bit difficult. Is you know how in some games it'll have like the things you can click on being a slightly different texture or like a different rendering style? In this, they're all the same art style. So it's very hard to differentiate what you can click on and what you can't. But that's okay. That's it. Why? It's an old scout. Why? It's an old spirit scout wilderness guide. And hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you've got a pretty good start on. Well, hold on to this book. And use it to track your progress, helping the spirits here of Cozy Grove. Would you like at the? Mo Would you like to look at the memento collection book now? Sure. That's the spirit. Here it is. Okay, so it just shows me how far I am to completing their, like, lore. And also how much they like me. What would you like to do? Here's a log for you. <laughs> Another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. 
I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. What would you like to do? Can I help you with something? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals will visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kid's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Hmm. Oh, we have a lot of shit now, okay. Seven thousand dollars? Oh my god, I'm a brokey. Okay, I only have 33 coins. <laughs> and everything starts at a hundred-ish. Okay, well, I ain't buying that now. That's a long-term goal. How do I get money? Oh yeah, Kit can also buy things for me. What would you like to do? Can I help you with something? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would help me get out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I made. First, though, I'm gonna need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Oh, no, I need more goddamn branches. Oh, fuck me, dude. That ain't ever happening. A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad, I just molted. Okay, so feathers? Anything I pick up, I'll just <laughs> I'll just take. Anything I see. I'm gonna cop everything in sight. Okay, so the items only appear on the ground after you talk to them. Got it. Shell? Ooh, cute! It is a lot easier to see things in the sections that aren't fully colored. my things. Ooh. 300 coins. Okay, I'm gonna sell two fish since I have three. Yeah, this definitely seems like a game you can, like, turn on at the end of your shift when you head home. Nice way to unwind. Because it, just based on what's going on so far, the mechanics, you just have to explore, find resources, sell, to progress. But 
Patrice Furbach. Patrice Furbach, the poster bear at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life, and I was. But I never suspected the job would be keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mailbag? <laughs> Busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 1-800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through a psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new rivals, but I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. You want to bet a spirit log, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'll take your gamble. Also, I notice when you run, it's a lot harder to see the elements, so you kind of gotta walk around to find shit. Hopefully. I can't walk up here. It's almost like a spot the difference type game to where you're exploring the same environment over and over looking for different items. Because that bird feather right here... This feather right here was not here before on my on the last lap around. Another one. But what is kind of nice is since I'm like looking so intensely, like focusing, I'm not really thinking about anything else. And I think that's a big appeal to any puzzle game. Like it's meant to take your full attention. Oh, I bet if I had a net, I could catch these little boogers. Okay, well, I have all the feathers. Set of feathers. Why are you bother helping me, little castaway, when you had such troubles of your own? <laughs> you give me something to do, you pay me. That's how it works. No, <laughs> I'm being nice. Just being neighborly. Ha! Huh. Neighborly. You might some, you might find some what puts stock in that concept here in Cozy Grove, but it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, thank you. With these bits of fluff pad in my coat, the wind's bite does lose its teeth. A bundled so a rule that afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, ye cannot re feather your wings. Hey yo, plus a log? Very nice. Hey, where's the package?
I low-key don't want the island to get any bigger. <laughs> so it's kind of a lot to explore and walk through. And just imagine me on a deserted island doing laps all day, every day. For simple, meaningless tasks. I mean, they're not meaningless. I do them so my neighbors will like me. And I'm a nice person. Smile. Oh, why is this an egg? Okay, a pickaxe. Got it. More? Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense at least five logs out there. Maybe close. Maybe far. He's just never happy, is he? Do all this work to keep him alive. He doesn't appreciate me. Okay, I literally cannot find this package. You know, I blame the other ghost postal workers for not dropping the package off in the right spot. That's honestly really frustrating. It's not making anybody's job any easier. I'm seriously not seeing it. I'm supposed to be taking part two of my exam, but I'll wait until stream ends. Um... Is it like one where you- oh! Is it like a test where you can take it at any time? You know, gotta- don't gotta wait out on me. Okay, I cannot find this package. I'm clueless. I might have to buy a hint. I literally can't find it. I gotta sell some of my seashells at the seashore. Okay, tell me where that goddamn package is. Was it buried? This is the issue er from earlier. This looks so much like it's part of the environment. It's so goddamn stupid. Oh, there it is! That's so frustrating. You know what else is frustrating? Watching ads. Because everybody, we are three hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. We'll keep playing for a little bit more. I I think I want to get just the baseline missions done. Okay, but seriously? That was bullshit. No way I would have found that silly little, silly little leaf pile. I hope all the puzzles aren't like this, because this will annoy me. 
crossing my fingers. Okay, make phone streamer for a second. Oh my god, two emails. Uh oh. When you open your phone and you see you have four emails dude i that's the one thing that's gonna like if i ever have like an office type job like just sitting at your desk seeing like 20 emails when you clock in oh my god that would that would give me so much anxiety <laughs> You don't check your email? Well, part of being an adult is checking your email. You know, you gotta do it. Can't put it off. check my messages until they have a hundred plus unread dude you're psychotic jesus christ i get anxious if i see one mixed email or missed text message like you know when you have like apps on your phone and it has like the icon telling you how many unread things you have like the red icon and then a hundred how would oh my god like i remember I was in a call with someone on Discord and they were screen sharing their like Discord screen and they were in like so many servers and all the servers had like 99 plus pings and I'm just looking at it like holy fuck. <laughs> That's why like I'm, I don't join Discord servers because I hate being pinged all day. Because like my social battery is very limited like if I'm if I'm in person with somebody I can chat all, all the time right but if it's like Digitally, I can only talk to somebody for so long before I- not- it's not that I get bored. It's just like, it feels so much more difficult to communicate with somebody through text or through a phone call than in person. Because when I text somebody, I feel like I have to like be funny or be more entertaining like- Because you can obviously tell when somebody is texting and they aren't like into it, you know? And that's a lot harder of a confrontation than like seeing somebody in person and then like being like, hey, are you okay? You know? Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package is the thrill of checking for a well for my address? Let me be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a poles to help her to help me with the USDs. What's a USD? Sorry, that's postal slang. Unidentified Supernatural Deliveries, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a but if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Arama <laughs> Aramaic or spewing demon fire, well, you just send that puppy my way. I'm from the country. Oh my god, box POV. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh. And it seems I've already addressed... Right. Oh, and it already seems I've received a letter addressed to you as well. Give me that letter! <laughs> Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. Oh my god, I'm so popular! Ooh, thank you for purchasing the new Neighbors DLC. Ooh. I got a young rainbow cat. They knew I was Gage. We can throw that away. 
No use keeping old trash. Thank you for purchasing the new neighbor's DLC. I got an origami dress, origami ears, and tenne. Holy. A lot of shit. Okay, cheerio, scout. Hope you're setting into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that was not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself. When you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. From Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll try to write to you every day, unless I get busy. Oh, dude, writing every day? That's so cringe! I'm not at a war. Test, 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 test. Mail from Postal Bear. Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you can see how it works. I also included a little thank you gift for your help. Postal Bear. Where's the gift? He lied. There's no gift in this letter. He's a liar and a sham. He scammed me. Ooh, money. Thank you, Postal Bear. What would you like to do? Can I help you with something? Heads up, Postal Helper. Looks like another post... Looks like another past mark delivery incoming. When you're alive, letters arrive at the post office a few days after they're sent. But ghost letters? They don't run on regular time. And they're likely to show up at a non-standard address. Like in leaf piles or behind rocks. So, if you find any letters out there, pre please bring them by the office. <laughs> Why do they hide them in leaf piles? I don't like how they're being little silly billies. Behind rocks, too. You know, all, they, all these people do is stand around all day. Why can't they just look themselves? Or maybe since they're ghosts, they can't touch anything. Anyway. <laughs> Here's another log for you. Yum! <laughs> Only three more logs before I'm full. I sent at least four logs out there. Maybe close. Maybe far. Hmm. Okay, I need to find letters. Branches. Money. Oh, I found- I see it! Okay, it's honestly kind of bullshit that they, like, hide behind objects. Like, if I'm- if I'm passing this way, I would never have seen it. Oh, no. That's such BS. Okay. I think I will do one more loop around the island and then call it a day for it now. I'm gonna walk very slowly. And try to walk through everything in my path. Oh, another letter. One more letter. And then I'll feel better. Imagine hopping everywhere. I know. <laughs> Dude, easy! Oh, another shell. He also, the little A icon doesn't show up right away. Another thing. Developers, get on it. Ooh. Why is there a pile of leaves in the bush? 
Dude, I would never find that. Oh my god. These ghosts be trolling. So you literally have to check every single environmental element. Holy... found some loose letters. A thank you card for Jeremy. Lost soon notice for Clyde. Bills for my wife, Anya. And here's one for me, huh? Threat of disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws. Standard stuff. I'll make sure the rest of these get to the right place. And hey, check in with me once in a while in case I've got anything for you. Oh no, my backpack's full. Uh-oh. We can put things in my closet. Okay, I'll do that. I'm not- I ain't gonna wear shit. I don't care about skins. I usually like default clothing anyway. Ooh, I'm a butterfly! <laughs> I don't wanna look like a nerd. Okay. 4,000 coins? Okay, I will keep... 8. I'll sell 2. Oh. Oh, because 10 was 4,000 coins. Never mind. 800 is still insane. No longer broken. Okay, I'll hold on to the rest. This game is what I imagine when I listen to folk music. Well, then I guess the devs did a perfect job, didn't they? I do like how everything has like slightly warm undertones, though. It is very pleasant. he would have crystals <laughs> really? 
Here's a log for you. Did you guys hear the gulp? <laughs> Only two more logs before I'm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close. Maybe far. Yeah, I want to get these logs, but I can't find shit. See, if I could just destroy the terrain, then I'd be good. Okay, I think what I need to do is I need to fish, get some money. Then I can buy the tools, make more money. Beat the game. Does the controller vibrate when fishing? Oh? I think so. Yeah, it vibrates when it goes in the water. And then it vibrates when it actually connects. Not when it taps. fished in my normal life and have no desire to it seems way too boring but i bet being able to eat a fresh fish it's gotta be amazing of a bear catching a fish in the stream and ripping the skin off and the fish made a face. <laughs> I thought fish couldn't feel pain. That's why like pescatarians eat them, right? Nah, they still feel pain. go like full vegetarian and it's mainly because I don't like veggies I'll be honest I think the intent behind like vegetarian people and vegans is there but it's never gonna become like a massive movement I think because, like... Things that were previously, like, a privilege, like having fresh meats or processed foods is so much more accessible now and it's a lot cheaper than more sustainable options or meat substitutes. It's gonna take a while before a lot of people, even if they want to, could make the switch. Oh, I pressed- I pressed trigger instead of A. I do like the fishing mechanic a bit more in this game. You can kind of like, aim your fishing rod, it's very nice. I don't necessarily have to move my character model to be right in front of it to be able to catch it. I 
Gotta go for the fishing turning record. You know, there was the one time where I got very close to beating it. And I don't know if I'll ever have that luck again. Hopefully one day. Not any day soon. I used all my luck to win the lottery this year. I mean... <laughs> okay, but if I ever did win the lottery, I'd probably want to be anonymous. If that's even possible. don't really like about the lottery is that you're paying for the idea of winning like the odds of you actually winning are near impossible but there are winners right so it's not impossible impossible but i i just can't get myself to buy a ticket because i know if i buy one i'll be like damn I can just try again next month and buy one ticket. Because my dad, he would spend like one to two hundred dollars a month on lottery tickets. So I would go with him to like help check the tickets to see if they won or not. And it's like, with all that money you spent, you could have bought like more groceries and more treats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think buying every once in a while is fine. But you can't let yourself believe that it'll be like a, a literal ticket out of poverty, you know? I'm at 1500. I can buy sticks. Oh, there's only 250. I can buy this. Okay, okay. Take my money, sir. I will also buy two sticks because I cannot find them for the love of God. Oh, did I. Wait. Does he only have one stick? Wait, he had three in his inventory. Okay, okay. We're good. I'm good. Maybe I was supposed to buy the other sticks. <laughs> Look, the narcissist here. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trick, it doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transformed. It transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like. But the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find out a spot to live. Why don't you place the animal on the ground near your campfire? It's sending via post to mail in 14 hours. Okay. A 
Let's put the bird right here. Okay, a happy spirit animal. Read cooked food, then harvest essence. Surrounded with items it likes to increase your harvest. It likes decorations and rustic decor. Oh, I can pet it. Oh. Oh, the creature seems to like you. What would you like to name it? Let's do Alf. <laughs> Alf the Fowl. And not because he stinks. Okay, he wants a bagel. <laughs> I don't know if I have a bagel yet, sir. Delicious! Just one final log and I'll be full! I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you who can help them. That's quite a lot of materials you've gathered. I bet you're wondering what sort of tool is he going to make for me now. Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to make something right now. Great. Let me show you to my workshop. Ooh. I can make hardwood, softwood. Gems. Skipping stones. Gold and silver bars. And then decorations. Don't really want any of those for now. Plus one log, everybody. This log for you. I'm getting hungry for more spirit wood each time you feed me. And that spirit wood is growing harder to find. How can that be when there are still so many needy shadows hiding in cozy growth? I can feel at least 13 more souls waiting to be helped. Wait. I see someone standing in a forest. Or am I mistaken? Perhaps that's just an oddly shaped tree. The fire seems brighter. You're now soul rank 5. Okay. He just... He wants 7. You've already had like 8 today, sir. I think we'll pause here for today. He just wants more and more. Typical fire behavior. Let's save for today. Get a little taste of what Cozy Grove has to offer. Okay. I like it. I think this is going to take a bit for me to warm up to. Because I usually love... The, like, the time right after the tutorial. And it seems like those first, like, five-ish logs were the tutorial. Like, you talk to the different people get new stories every day because there, there are daily missions and for that one mission after we gave her the bird she's like oh i'll order bird food it said it would take 15 hours to arrive so we've gotten a little taste of cozy grove what do you guys think we this will be the new tuesday slot yeah i don't know what the spring festival is you might get the game. I say get it because it is on sale. Because I got the DLC and the main game for $13. And the main game itself is $14. Sale and tomorrow. Hashtag not sponsored. But might as well check it out. See if you might like it. 
but it does feel like I don't I hope there's no like timed missions where like oh you only have a day to complete it but we'll see we'll say thank you for redeeming Mac I appreciate it okay chaz chaz we can wrap up stream here for today we do get to do calligraphy because we had a few redemptions so if you want me to write your name all I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points any redeemers I think we'll keep this music on it's quite pleasant but I do think that some of the po puzzles are annoying <laughs> like how that one bundle of leaves was hidden behind a bush bullshit I did not condone it okay before I do calligraphy everybody you can go check out my offline socials I have a Twitter Instagram and a TikTok go follow all three also I think tomorrow or not tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow so I'll be live on this channel probably Thursday Maybe if I have time, after my appointment tomorrow, I'll go live on the art channel. Maybe. But on Thursday. I'm playing the new Zelda, everybody! <laughs> this was on our list of games to play, so... We'll be starting this this week. And this will be our new, like... I guess, story game slot for now. Let's go! Okay, let's hope I don't show feet. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I always get worried that my camera will like move as I'm streaming, which it's locked in place, but I still am like, ooh. It's also really hot in my room because since I'm st upstairs, it's gonna be warmer. Because for sure, it's a lot cooler in our downstairs area. Thank you for redeeming, Kim. Oh, I, I know I'm like, I feel like I'm annoyed today, but that's only because of the heat. I'm for sure gonna have to get, like, a fan in here. Robin. Am I British? Is my accent any good? I still can't believe I got first in my first online race of the day. Actually insane. I'm just gonna keep talking like this. Thank you for redeeming Kongobo. Oh wait, Cool Bobo, I will send you your gift card for clipping for April. So I'll send that to you today. So make sure you check your Twitter DMs later. Because I purchased the card yesterday. Dark blue? Okay. Thank you for redeeming Tanuki. Dude, the rainbow looks crazy on camera. Crazy good.
Here we had Mac and Robin. Hardest name to ever write, Tanuki. got close. Cancel me. You just need to change your username, Tanuki. You have to change it. This is ridiculous. tell you guys two syllable names in your set and then maybe some numbers this ridiculous <laughs> okay chaz that was the last name for today anybody else want to redeem or maybe donate question mark y'all got five <laughs> i was thinking about tanuki chris pratt mark nightmare but the better of it <laughs> that would be a good bit <laughs> but then I bet people would be asking more about your username, huh? Okay. I think we are done for today. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chas <laughs> lurkers? Thank you guys for hanging out today. Um, we did Mario Kart. I got some pretty good dubs. Some good dubs. I do owe chat one more gifted sub from today. So next non-sub we ever see this week will go to them. Um, and then we started Cozy Girl. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but since this is the tutorial section, I'll probably pick up a little bit. It does seem like you give it a task, find the thing, maybe crafting will be more. I think the crafting dynamic will make it a bit better. But we'll see. We'll continue it next week. Plan for this week. Link. Knock off Tears of the Kingdom game. Starting probably Thursday because I have an appointment tomorrow. If I have time tomorrow, maybe I'll go live on Peace and Arts. Everybody, go follow my second channel. It's at Peace in underscore Art on Twitch. I believe it is tagged in my. It is not. It is now tagged in my title. <laughs> so go follow it. I'm gonna go try and go live on that channel at least once a week now. And then, yeah, so I should be able to go live Thursday and Friday this week. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Thanks again for the sub. Yeah, of course. Thank you for waiting, Tanuki. I still feel bad. I feel horrible whenever I forget to change the chat modes, but thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. And maybe we'll do a tournament this month. I will post and tell chat whenever I can from a date. Bye, Mac. Bye, Kim. It is so fucking hot in my room today, though. <laughs> Dude, I already took a bath today. I don't want to take another bath. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> I usually leave the screen on for like a minute or two. That way chatters can lurk if or like chat if they want to, but then I'm like, oh, I should end. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>